relative units get sizing from something else. And in the specification, we have relative length units. Uh, these are font relative units defined as M, X, CH and REM. We also have percentage units and I'm going to cover all of these together. So percentage units. If we have a container directly inside the viewport like this wrapper here, and we set this to 90%, then this will always be 90% of the viewport because it's directly inside the viewport. If I've got another container inside that, which I have here, I've got this div of the class of inner. I'm going to set this to width 50%. Now this won't be 50% of the viewport, it'll be 50% of this wrapper. So you can see that if we make the wrapper smaller, and this remains at 50% of that wrapper, so it goes to half. We can use M's as a length unit in layout, and in particular, we might use M's in padding and margins, because they can help to maintain a vertical rhythm. If a user resizes their text, or you decide to make the font sizes across your site larger or smaller, the M length unit will scale proportionately. So in this example, I've used M's for padding, on the box. And you can see this second box is wider than the first and this is because we're using the regular box model so the padding is added on to the width of the box. So although they've both got one M of padding, the M is larger for the box the larger font size. Something else we can do is we can actually size the boxes in M's. So we can give this box a width of 15M and we can give box 2 a width of 15M. And the width now of the boxes is quite different because an M in this box is much larger, twice the size of an M for this box. So finally, while we're looking at M's, I'd like to show you something else. I've got some boxes here. Once again, they've got a nested box inside them. Uh, both the boxes have got a class of inner. And you can see that we've given inner a width of 10M. Now because the M size is bigger in the second box to the smaller one, this width is obviously larger in the second box. So 10M makes for a wider box. Now if we wanted these both to be actually the same width, we could use an absolute unit. We could size them in pixels. However, there's something else we can do with a newer unit called REM. Now rem is a root m and it's the font size of the root element. The nice thing about using rem units is that you keep that ability to scale the text across the whole site and keep everything in proportion, but you don't get this kind of inheritance effect that you get if you use m's. So if you go to inner here and let's change that to 20 rem. And as you can see, these two are now kind of lining up because they're both taking the same width. Now, the root element is usually defined on the HTML element. So we could say font size 10 pixels for that element. And you can see how those boxes now become narrower because a rem is related to that HTML element, the font size on the HTML element. And if we make it larger, then that's going to get wider. So that's REM units. That's a really useful unit to look at because you get that ability to scale your text across the site. But you don't have this nesting problem that you do have with M's.